Hello everyone. If you guys remember, about a year ago, I built an aquarium in the team of Avatar. Well, it was quite a successful build. So the guys decided we should do more movie themed builds. And today we're going to Africa. In this tank, I'm gonna try to recreate the iconic landscape of Lion King. When the guys came to me with the idea first, uh, my brain clicked. I've seen Lion King, I don't know, a thousand times when I was a kid. I had some memories about this landscape. Obviously, we're talking about the huge rock. Memory one, that rock formation was gray. Memory two, there is sand all around it. Memory three, Trees which are blown by wind, so they grow like sideways. None of this is accurate as it turns out. The rock formation is brown, the trees are not blown by wind, and there is green all around. We're gonna mix these. I've already decided that I want to make the rock formation from wild rhino stones because that, that's what was closest to my memory and I want to capture that. I'm really happy that there's a lot of green around because, well, this is a planted tank. And the trees are not blown, but I'm going to use bonsai trees that look like what's in my memory. So, I usually I like to prepare for a build like this because it's a bit more complicated than, than a normal build. And uh, this time I didn't have the time to do it. So, we're just going to wing it. Uh, I'm going to start building here and I'm not too confident at the moment because of the shape of the rocks and because of the image I'm looking at. So yeah, there's not much resemblance for the rocks, but still I'm gonna try to make it. First decision I have to make is ratios. Mm. Oh, this is heavy. If the cliff is here, that's still underwater, right? Yep, so that would be perfect height. And this way, yep. This is what we're gonna do because the the front of the triangle is almost completely flat and well this is not flat but this is the closest to it <clears throat> i'm gonna have it about here then we're gonna have the cliff sticking out and well i'm gonna try to build this down towards the corner so i need to build up this ramp to this height Oh, this is going to be tricky. Height is sort of okay. What if we use these? Like, I would lift that one to reach this part. Okay, so then I ditch all that I've already done. Oh, it's all moving. I've put a piece of polyfoam underneath the rocks so they don't just skate around on the glass. It won't stay there for the actual tank, but until I glue them. Check again. And I think we are at a good height, aren't we? I'm gonna use Impa glue. Well, the more catalyst you use in ratio for the glue, the quicker it dries. If you're working alone, it's worth using a bit more, especially for stuff like this that won't stand on its own because then you need to hold it until it dries. Yeah, I don't dare gluing this on yet because then it will be well, almost impossible to move altogether. So we're gonna wait for this to dry, then take out the foam, position this in final place and then glue this on. So, how far should it stick out? How far? 
Yeah. So is this enough? I'm, I'm afraid that this will be too long, wouldn't it? Ah. In the original, the cliff's length is about half of all the vertical stuff behind it. But with that, the whole building, it would be just, the structure would be too small. This is going to be the cliff, and this is a curvature that stands under it. So the gluing surface on here will be much bigger, so it's going to be told for much more gravity, basically. This is too low now. So we didn't, the ratio would be better, wouldn't it? This one is glued in as well. Now this whole structure is way too heavy to move. And these ones I just added in. My problem is that the original structure looks like a triangle. I mean, up to this point, it should come up like this. And with the shape I have now, this side is way too bulky compared to the cliff. I'm trying to ease off the bulkiness with these stones and also I'm probably going to fill up with soil to about here. For the main structure the only thing we need now is this front piece holding the cliff. The main structure is done. Now I want to place uh, the trees, figure out their uh, place. I'm going to glue them down to the glass so they don't float when we fill the tank. And then we're going to add soil. Now I need to figure out which way the wind blows. Because all, all the trees should face the same direction. And I think this actually gives the scape a lot of perspective. Tree number three. These are some amazing handmade bonsais from Vio. I think we're gonna place this here. And we're gonna have this one over here. I would never have the patience to actually build something like this myself. So this is the biggest one because this is the closest to where we are watching from. And then those two will be smaller, again, for perspective. This is a completely different one as well, but it sort of makes sense, doesn't it? If you have the patience of a two-year-old, like me, you can actually buy these bio bonsai trees from Green Aqua if you are located in Europe. I'm gonna use ADA Amazonia version two, and before I forget, I put in all the supplements. Um, I'm not gonna use a substrate layer this time, basically because I don't want the uh, soil to be that high what would be needed for using substrate. So I'm gonna make sure that I throw around these supplements. And there is a very important aspect of, the, of the, basically all the tanks that we have at the gallery. We usually run them for maximum a year. And uh, for that time frame, you can get away much easier without using uh, substrate and soil only. So we might need to start adding root taps a bit sooner than usual, but it should be fine in general. And this is going to be the regular inflow for the filter, and this one will be the skimmer inflow. I'm done with the hardscape. Maybe a few bits of stones. I'm gonna look for small ones to just enrich the environment. We're gonna do planting for you in two seconds. For us, a couple days. Well, good morning everyone, at least for me. If I look at the inspirational image, what I see is bigger plants in the front, uh, like 
in the base of the trees and around these rocks. And then basically I only see like a carpet behind it. So that's what we're gonna mimic. Let's get into it. This adds quite a lot to the perspective that I've tried to build with the hardscape itself. Obviously some moss on the trees to give them a nice crown. For the previous build, we needed to replace the connectors for the hoses uh, to have them smaller because it was sand all around and we didn't want the sand to be too thick. Now it's the other way around, so Marty is replacing the connectors so we have some height so I can put soil around the connectors and plant properly. While he's doing that, I'm going to start planting where I don't bother him working. I'm going to start with the carpeting plants basically in the middle area. Main ones will be the Araucaris pusilla and the Monte Carlo turn around. And then I have some Marsilla hisuta and some Lilaopsis brasiliensis, which I'm only gonna mix in them later on. In the shadows underneath the cliff, I've put Marsilla hisuta because it can grow in shadowy areas as well, so hopefully it's going to form a carpet under there as well. Now we are done with the carpeting plants and it's time to build perspective with the bushy plants. So. I'm going to use storage and repens, Putzephalandra aquartica and uh, Ariocolum polaris for this purpose. We also have some Putzephalandra mini needle leaf prepared, which I want to use on this edge and basically a bit around the main rock. Uh, with the very small leaves, it's supposed to represent the same bushy plants in smaller form in the distance. We have moss. I'm planning to use Fontinalis antipiratica on the trees. And I also have some Ricardia, which I might actually mix in on the trees. And I want some plants on this surface because on the inspirational image, there are trees on top of this big hill. So we don't really have enough of the Fontinalis. It's gonna need quite some time to form what I've just said about putting Riccardo on the rock, it's not going to happen. We tried and it looks way too fake. So I'm going to leave this as an open area. The rest of the planting is actually done. Uh, it, it, well, I think it's going to need more time than our tanks usually do. All the carpeting needs to develop a lot. And uh, well, the lack of Fontinalis trees are a bit, well, scarce. See how it looks in a couple of weeks. With the fish, we're gonna try to represent Africa and the world of Lion King. So probably Honey Gurami is gonna be the lions. You'll see it in a couple of seconds. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Goodbye. Ooh.